Hi now, startling new figures have revealed that numbers of native dormice in the UK have dropped by a third since the millennium. Yes, in Kent there's a, a pioneering project to try and breed the mice in captivity and release them into the wild to boost numbers. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. Captive dormice looking fat and ready for hibernation. Here at Wildwood Trust near Canterbury, they're experts in breeding the mammals that are so threatened in the wild. We've got a, a cage for each sort of family group here and we want to make sure they're okay to go into hibernation this winter. During the summer they can often be found in their nest boxes. Oh, there they are. These are part of a program to reintroduce dormice back into the wild. In Victorian times, the mammals could be found across most of England and Wales, but now they're absent from many parts of the north and east. The experts in Kent are involved in putting them back specifically into areas where they've died out. The main threats to the dormouse, the loss of woodland and hedgerows where they like to live, and the weather. They also don't really like mild winters, uh, which we're getting more with climate change, because um, it means that they can't hibernate as well because they wake up more frequently and they use up more fat reserves. It's estimated dormice have declined by a third since the millennium. Reintroductions may be the only way to save the species. Dormice don't disperse well in our fragmented landscape, so you can have an ideal wood, say in Nottinghamshire, for example, uh, there could be an ideal woodland, but with the nearest dormouse being well over 100 miles away, it's not going to make it back of its own accord. So it's worth putting dormice back into counties from which they've been lost. Monitoring will go on at all the new sites along with areas where they remain. And at this Kent Wildlife Trust woodland, people are taught how to check for them. Dormice are so under threat, you need a special license to handle them. It looks quite empty. Back at Wildwood, 17 babies have been born this year. They'll be ready to be released next summer. Yvette Austin, BBC Southeast Today, near Canterbury. Oh, well, they're pretty cute, aren't they? they? Are, are they?